Hello everyone and welcome back to Knowledge Base. Today we'll be discussing a crucial concept in Java. Multiple inheritance. We'll see how Java handles multiple inheritance using interfaces, and we'll walk through a practical example to understand it better. If you're new here don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more Java tutorials. Let's get started. Before we jump into the code, let's take a moment to understand what multiple inheritance means. Multiple inheritance allows a class to inherit features from more than one parent class. However, Java doesn't support multiple inheritance with classes directly to avoid complexity and ambiguity, like the diamond problem. Instead, Java uses interfaces to provide multiple inheritance. Now, let's look at an example to see how Java achieves multiple inheritance using interfaces. In this example we have three key components. Student class. This class represents a student's basic information such as PRN, permanent registration number, and name. Marks interface. This interface represents the structure for marks with constants for internal and external maximum marks. It also includes an abstract method get result. Result class. This class extends the student class and implements the marks interface. It handles the student's result, calculates the total marks, and computes the percentage. Here the student class has two attributes, PRN and name. It includes a constructor to initialize these values, and the display, method prints out the student's details. 
Next we have the Marks interface. This interface defines the maximum internal and external marks and declares an abstract method getResult, which the result class will implement. Now let's look at the result class. The result class inherits from student and implements marks. The constructor checks whether the marks are within valid ranges. If any marks are out of range, it prints an error message. The get result method calculates the total marks and percentage, then calls display to show the student's details and results. Now let's run the program and see the output. Here's what happens when we run the program. For the first student, Rajesh Patil, the program indicates that one or more marks are out of range. As a result, the total and percentage are set to zero. For the second student, Smita Shah, the marks are within the valid range, so the total marks are calculated as 234, resulting in a percentage of 78%. In this video, we explored how multiple inheritance can be implemented in Java using interfaces. We saw how the result class inherits properties from both the student class and the marks interface, allowing it to calculate and display the student's results. If you found this video helpful, Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Knowledge Base for more Java programming tutorials. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel to increase your knowledge with the Knowledge Base. Thank you.